Hello, I'm Christoph Groth and I would like to introduce Quant to you. Quant is a Python package for numerical calculations on tight binding models with a strong focus on quantum transport. I will now demonstrate Quant by showing you one difference between regular and chaotic quantum billiards. To begin, I launch the IPython notebook. Quant can simulate coherent transport in any mesoscopic system. It runs on all common platforms like Unix, Macs and Windows, and it's really easy to install. Now I open a new notebook and switch to full screen mode. To get access to Quant, I import the Quant package. I start by defining a function that describes the shape of the billiard. This function will provide the shape of the system. Given a point, it returns true when the point is inside the disk and false otherwise. Now I create an empty Quant Builder object. It will store all the information about the tight binding system. I also make a square lattice to which the sides of the system will belong. Adding sides to a system works like adding items to a dictionary. Here I use the function defined above to cut out the desired shape. Finally, let's add nearest neighbor hoppings. Ok, let's check now how the system looks like so far. Hmm, looks good. Never mind about the moiré patterns. So, let's add an infinite lead to our system. First, I build the lead in isolation. This works in the same way as making a finite system. The only difference is that I declare it to have a certain translational symmetry. This time I add sides directly using a Python construct that is similar to a loop. The hoppings are added just like before. Finally, I attach the lead to the system. Let's check how it looks now. We can see that when attaching the lead, some sides had to be added to the disk to create a matching interface. As everything is good, I now freeze the system so that I can do some numerics with it. I ask Quant to calculate the local density of states at a certain energy and to plot the result. We see that the Eldos has a very regular structure since the disk is an integrable billiard. Now, to make this a bit more interesting, let's stretch the disk, turning it into a stadium, one of the canonical chaotic billiards. I evaluate the cells again. You can see how the system looks now. And behold, the interference pattern is chaotic now. In similar ways, Quant can be used to simulate many phenomena from mesoscopic physics with just a few dozen lines of intuitive code. In our paper, we explain the design of Quant and what is happening under the hood.